Hi, Crafty Stampers. So this is the card that I really, really like the design of this one. Um, this is Hello Friend. And so in this packet, you're going to get, of course, your base card. You're going to get an envelope. You're going to get a, a purplish piece, which is uh, Stampin' Up's um, Blackberry Bliss. And you're going to get a top white card that has been embossed for you on that. So on this one, you can either put, because you'll tell that the circles are, there's a lot here and then a little bit here. So you can put the a lot of them here if you want to over here or put it here. It doesn't matter. Um, on mine, I have the majority of the circles on this side and not, not very many on this side. So it just depends on how you want to do it. Then in your little packet that you got, you're going to get the word friend all cut out for you. Then you're going to get a bunch of half circles. You're going to get some, hopefully I put mounting tape in everybody's. I tried to put extra, so if you didn't get it from this one, you might take it from the other one. Um, so you're going to get friend, hello, the mounting tape, and the half circles. Okay, so what I would go ahead and do first is I'm going to leave this into view so you can see what I'm doing. I would take the half circles and I would line them up, stack them, I should say, of how the one that you need to do is all the colors of how they're supposed to be. Just so you make sure that you have the right colors in the right spaces because it's important that you do because see how the swirl goes and continues into each one. So if you don't do that, then the colors, of course, won't match up with that. So what you want to do first is we're going to put this down. And as if you noticed on these examples, you can't see it under here, but this one you can. When you're lining these up, you're lining all of them up to this edge. Okay, so they're all off-centered, lined up to this edge. So when you glue them down, and this is important to do because um, that's going to make the design. And it's best to glue these instead of using a tape runner so you can move these to reposition them because it's important that you want this even and then this even over here when you're gluing it down. And all these circles, it's just a regular circles and these are all perforated circles just for a little bit more design to it. So this is something you can do on your own if you do have the circle perforations or if you don't have the perforation you just have circles this still would be a good idea to do okay so you have this one's going to be your top one and they're all lined up like that then you're going to go ahead and do your bottom one So you're lining it up to the opposite side. So you're going to have this one lined up towards that way and the bottom one lined up towards your left side. Make sure you have it all even on the top. And there is a wrong side and a right side to this perforation, and you can tell when you get these. Okay, so that's that. Okay. So what you want to do is go ahead and take your, uh, your piece and decide how you want it designed. And I would go ahead and lay it down first. Because you want to get this so it's centered. So you want to get this so when you're laying it down that it's even this way. And then you have all your colors lined up. 
And if you do it correctly, you should have just a little bit edge on each side here. Okay. So what I would do with this is don't use tape and I would use glue because you really need to maybe move these around a pinch just to get them evened up. Because if they're off, it looks funny. And you want to get it evened up from this side to this side too. So I just laid it down just slightly. So if I have to move it, I can. So you want to get this evened up, up and down too. See, and if you move it around, you get that in there tight. And you get all those colors lined up. It will look like a swirl back and forth. And you can do a rainbow effect if you want to do another one. Um, and if you guys want to know the size of the circles that I used or anything like that, just let me know and I'll let you know the size. And of course, you guys can measure them to know because um, they're all the same, um, just swapped out. Like this one, of course, is this. And so I just cut a whole circle. So I actually have extra pieces so you can make more. So it's fun to do that design so then you take your hello that's already pre-stamped and this is in uh stamped in blackberry bliss too because i thought it would match um, with the colors that we're using for the theme here and if you guys do some other ones like this with other colors you know post it on our site if you guys are part of the crafty stamper site or um go ahead and pm me with yours i would love to see them so on this one, what I did with, thought it would look good, is I off-centered it to this side. So you can see the swirl going up like this. Because if you center it here, then your swirl kind of breaks up a little. Um, so I centered it over to the other side, just to make an even flow of your swirl. And I hope that hello's straight. And then with your friends, this doesn't have the tacky on the other side. So I would just do a glue and just tap, 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 because it's really fine, so you don't need a lot of glue on this. And then I kind of put the friend underneath that, so it goes into the white, so you can actually see the wording. And that's it. So then what you want to do is take your glue or your tape runner, glue the back of this, and you want to center this on the Blackberry Bliss paper, and then tape this down. And then center that on your white base. And that's it. I think that is a, such a cute card. And it's going to look really cool when you did different colors on here. So um, if you guys want to do this card again. And you really like this friend. And you don't have any wording. And anything like that. Let me know. And I, if I can send this extra friend in your next kit that you get or something if you want to do more if you want more pieces of anything I do just let me know and I can send them in um, your extra kits that you guys buy every month um, and just add it to the kits so um, there you go so let me know if you have any questions